Good morning guys, how are we? Luke here from the Chunky Travellers. Um, we're back at it. Um, Ryan's just at our job for the morning, but he'll be back at lunchtime, so I've decided I'm gonna get into it, um, just get a head start. Um, today, I actually just overnight decided I wanted to pull all the doors off, so I'm gonna pull the doors off and the doors on the back, the barn doors, um, just so we could sort of a bit of a head start on painting as well. I can start prepping them separately to the car then, and. Not make so much mess in the shed for when we go to start doing putting engines together. Um, Cause we try want to try and keep the environment as clean as we can when we're putting motors together. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull these doors off. Um, and we also had an issue with our engine crane. Um, I don't think it's got any hydraulic fluid left in it, so it's a bit of a pain in the neck to you. So I'm going to I've went and bought some hydraulic fluid. We're going to top that up. Um, just to be ready for when Ryan gets back because we're hoping to get the motor sitting in place enough where we can sort of line things up and start making taking some measurements and because um, it'd be really nice to have our engine mount sort of maybe tacked together by the end of today um, but definitely by the end of this video so um, that's where we're gonna yeah that's where we're gonna take off from today um but yeah we'll take you with us the way we always do we'll see you in a sec All right, so this is where we're up to. Got the doors off, as you can see, no doors. Um, these, the front doors, just a um, 12 mil headed bolt, um, three on each hinge, obviously. Um, I actually found leaving the door shut, pulling the hinge off and then undoing, like unlatching the door, heaps easier than letting it hang and potentially drop to the floor. Um, and then the next, thing that I've done um, so I've got these rear barn doors off as you can see um, and they're a 14 mil so these are this is a good reason why you should all like sh like if you're doing this sort of a project this is why I wanted to take them off was because I wanted to see what sort of damage like there's a bit of rust nothing that's more just surface rust but now I can clean that out put a bit more seam sealer in there um, I can clean out the threads, put a bit of anti-seize on them and reinstall when we're finished painting it. Um, this is the um, squirter hose so we can redo all that, clean off all, like clean all our um, hinges and latches and everything, repaint them. Um, a lot of this stuff is still in usable condition so what we're going to do is just clean them up. Um, but a lot of it just need, needs readjusting. So the doors close and everything but yeah, I reckon I can get them. I can get them much better just with a bit of tweaking um, as well. So, but um, then it really not in too bad a nick. But yeah, this one we can dig all that out and just give it a clean, repaint all this as we go, and uh, that should be sweet. Alright guys, I'm back now, so things will get done now. <laughs> I did have a nap. An hour nap. <laughs> yeah, just on the concrete, here. it was nice and cold. Here I am, off at work, working hard out in the sun, touching hot metal, and he's napping. Yeah, well, yeah, I get to touch hot things too. To be fair, no you don't, yeah, to be up. fair, I did sleep through my alarm and didn't get out of bed until seven o'clock. So, oh, useless. and then I had three hours of driving. One day an hour of late. Yeah, half an hour. Well, two and a half hours late. Yeah, so late nonetheless. Man, I didn't start work till ten. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do a whole three hours of work. Tough life's hard, eh? Yeah. All right. Now we get to work on Babby. So. Yeah, mate. So we got this thing. What's this thing called again? Ah, yeah. oh, I know what it is. Engine. Engine stand. <laughs> this thing here 
is it? Our dummy motor. Our so. dummy motor. Yep. Where so there's our there? dummy loop, and there's our dummy, dummy motor. And, um, and it's going to go in there so we know where to put our engine mounts. Yeah. Um, Try and line everything up. I'm hoping to have it tacked together, <laughs> tacked together tonight. Oh. I reckon. Yeah. I, I can't see that being too hard. Make cut a few more plates. Yeah. Tack good. them to the chassis, sort of somewhere where we need them, and then work out our height for the motor. That's pretty reasonable. Yeah, those mounts will work with the like the B, yeah, BF. FG mounts will work with the BF. No, no, it's all going BF mounts. FG. Oh, that's, that's right. Like, yeah, yeah, it's all got to be BF. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that last episode. Don't worry about we went me. All the way through that, remember? No, the episode before. No, I don't. <laughs> that was weeks ago, man. <laughs> all right. It was that. Uh, yeah. I don't think any. I made any sense when I talked about FG and BF mounts, but we're going. We've got to go BF mounts. Okay. Cool. Which is good because this is a BF motor, so it's already got its BF mounts on it. And uh, our rubber mounts are around here somewhere over there. But uh, first things first is lifting it. Yeah. It's sitting in there. Yeah. Take let's... photos, drill over it for a little while, and then do some work. Yeah. All right, let's lift this thing. Right, so, so why are we doing this? <laughs> well, fabric's pretty tall, and you probably would have seen from the time lapse that how high the engine gets, and it was sort of only about here. So what I've we've thought to do is um, jack it up, pull the springs out because it's got four inch springs. There you go. There they are. There. Yeah. Um, and we did actually, we did buy some standard height ones. We should probably put yeah, they're them right there. Oh, I thought they were still in my ute. No, they're not. I might put them because it's not like completely on its guts. Yeah. Um, uh, they're, that, they're that factory way? height springs, yeah. It goes the other way, actually. Other way? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, mate. Yeah, it's better. But it's, yeah, not, so it's, put, too, it's too high still. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll slowly jack it down. But uh, yeah, I think if we put them in, we might be able to, um, might be able to get the motor over the top of it. Hopefully. Yep. And we did realize um, we probably got jibbed on the old engine crank, so thanks to that meth head in Rocky. Man, too many people will be like, oh, is he talking about me? Yeah. Because <laughs> there's like hundreds of meth heads in Rocky. <laughs> All right, but, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh oh. What? This jack just stopped. What do you mean it just stopped? It just broke. That's supposed to keep it from. Mm. What the hell? Hop away, Jasmine, oh, yeah, now. Yeah. All you kids, hop out of the way. We had to shoot off and get a new o-ring for the engine crank because it was leaking so like a sieve oh. it was almost like there was no oh I, would, I wouldn't even say a sieve like there was nothing there yeah. 
It was a bit Pete Murray. <laughs> How many times do you want to use... Okay, for the people that are playing along at home, Pete Murray, he has a song called Seen Better Days. So he likes to say it's been a bit Pete Murray. It's seen better days. So sorry. <laughs> he, I apologise for nothing. He's used that joke three times today. Not even today, like in the last three hours. <laughs> An hour. Oh, look at that, mate. It's almost like it's not really working. Oh. Defeated. <laughs> um, we underestimated. Um, well, we didn't. Um, what am I trying to say? We left the bloody spindle bush or what a spigot, spigot bearing in. Completely forgot about it. That was um, yeah, a bit of an amateur mistake on my behalf. But yeah, we need an internal puller, and we don't have one. So it's quarter past five. We missed the opportunity to get to um, super cheap today, but we're gonna. Pull it a night, get back into it tomorrow, and uh, go get ourselves a puller. Try and get this thing sitting in there. Do you know what's annoying? What? The most, like, what annoys me a lot, a lot, is that we are at super cheap just before trying to fix the engine crane. Yeah. And we did fix the engine crane though, so that was a win. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but, we're here, that's there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You don't always get it the first time around. So that there, we've got to try and fit it onto that, um, that's the output shaft, yeah? Yeah. Yep. And well, it won't. Input shaft. Input shaft, output shaft, same thing, it's a yeah. shaft. <laughs> um, but yeah, because of that. And we do have one, we come in our kit with our bell housing, um, but we're not going to put it in, obviously, we just want it to be able to what make it come? together. A spigot bearing. Uh, well, yeah, I think oh, they yeah. call them a bush when they're the draft bush. In here, right? Yeah, it's weird around. No, I don't know. No. I don't know. Wherever you put it. Really? I don't know. It's probably still in there, I just probably didn't look. Yeah, anyway. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's in there. But yeah, we're not going to put any of that in. We just want to get that one out so that that definitely fits in and we can just put the box and the um, engine together. And then we're just going to chock it in the engine bay to where we want it. Um, and then we can start tacking our engine mounts together. Um, we do it. We're going to cut our plates again. I think we just, they're just a bit short. Um, and I don't want to be come up short when it's such a painful job to get them back off. How good was it to see the engine in there though? It was pretty cool, yeah. yeah. And we didn't even get a picture. Yeah. Dumbass. Yeah, I know. I blame you. Yeah. You're the picture man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, but yeah, the, I'm the everything man. You yeah. see what I'm talking about? How it's the gearbox is off yeah. because it doesn't have that bush in it. Yeah, so maybe we'll buy one of them tomorrow too. I think we'll buy one of them tomorrow. Yeah. Might have to be 50 bucks or something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not like we didn't achieve anything today. I did heaps, so. Yeah, well, I went to work. <laughs> yeah, earned a living. 
Yeah. That's right, I went to work yesterday, Sunday. Wait, yesterday no, or Monday? Mon well, I went to work Sunday, so whenever that was. Two days ago? Yeah. Today's Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, cool. So. <laughs> but this isn't it. We'll, we're not going to end it here. We'll, no. Um, we want it at least chopped in the engine bay and before we um, end this episode. So you'll see us in the morning. Maybe. Maybe in the morning sometime. <laughs> Sleep until the afternoon. What are you talking about? No way, man. I'll be here at 9 o'clock. Sarah starts work. Oh, you poor I'm thing. Knocking on the You're door. Be out here I'll be banging on the windows. I'll be sleeping. You'll be out here. <laughs> Again, right. bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah, love you all. Oh, what up? Oh, yeah. All right, action. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Um, we're back. It's not the next day. It is a couple of days later. Sick of Luke lying to you. Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I went to work. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sorry. I have to earn a living now. These days. But uh, yeah, what is it? Two days later. So we, um, yeah, we run into the problem of the um, spigot bearing being still in the barra. Yeah. My bad. Should have knew that. But we, I picked a, um, a puller tool up this morning, and uh, that should solve that issue for us. Just a nice cheap one, seventy dollars. Yeah, yeah, they don't miss, eh? Because even the other one was sixty bucks, wasn't it? That big sucker. This thing's half the size. Mm. So, but yeah, got to get what you got to get. Yeah, well, after we've done this one for sale, <laughs> yeah. bearing puller, 79. <laughs> oh, 79. Yeah, got to make a profit, 68. Mate. <laughs> Slightly used, so you deduct a bit. Yeah, right. $2 a side. So we've got to pay for this build somehow. <laughs> <don't we? laughs> That's why but, you're going to work now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, pretty much. This is the way I feel anyway. Oh, mate, this thing's so dusty. Yeah, so, but there, that's the plan. We're gonna try and get this motor in and chocked into place so we can start tacking some engine mounts um, today because I really, really wanna get this motor sitting in there um, or at least ready for our motor to sit in there because then we can start ordering parts for the motor then. Throwing it together, I can start pulling this other motor apart to pull the head off it and stuff. Um, yeah, because we need the head. Um, all the <coughs> fuel rails and everything. Yeah, to get all the petrol side of things off it. Um, yeah. Easy. So it's going to be good. Easy. Let's do but it. But we're going to do it now, yeah. Let's do it. Yep. I bet you're wondering why we're pulling the motor back out for the 13th time. It's because that shaft is too long to go in here. So we did, so there were dowels on this which are now stuck in the um, bell housing. <laughs> so this is a TV42 gearbox out of a Nissan and this is a Ford motor obviously, Barra, so it doesn't uh, it's too long to go into here, so what we're doing, what we're going to have to do is cut that shaft down. Um, we think it's, oh, we measured it's about 6 mil too long, so we're going to cut it about 7, um, just, to be, just to be sure. <sighs> so yes, that's what we're up to. Um, we love pulling the motor in and out, it's so much fun to do, I love it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna get up to, but Luke had to shoot off and go pick up his wife from work. 
Um, so I'm just going to wait for him to get back and then we can completely measure it and make sure it's perfect before we go and cut it. But yeah, so that's, this is our uh, spigot bearing here to replace this one. Um, so this will just sit nicely on, yeah, the shaft, on oh, in here and for the shaft. Oh, I just dropped it, I probably broke it. Input output input, input shaft. Input shaft, yeah. that's what I yep, that's what I said. Input shaft off the gearbox. Yeah, shorten it by six and a half mil. Six and a half. Um which we think is enough. We've measured it. We did our measurements. It seems but yeah. Yeah. It went on, as you can see. Motors in place. You can probably tell it's a bit lopsided, but we've got to replace the end the gearbox mounts. Um and adjust our get them right up in there. Get it right in there. Oh yeah. Dumb. Gearbox and engine are uh, one. They're like this. With the shaft there. With the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect pinnacle. At first it was like this. <laughs> but now it's like this. Perfect penetration. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we'll get away from that joke. We know, we know where that's heading if we can. Uh, yeah, so super, super happy with how that looks, eh? That was yep. super cool. Dummy motor is in, well, in place. In place. So we've got a bit of tweaking to get it um, in, like, to where we want it. It's got to go that away a little bit as well. Um, but all looks good. I think it's actually, uh, probably close to even the height we're chasing. Yeah. Um, slightly tilted back. Engine mounts are just, so these were our original mounts here. So they're only, only just a, um, a bee's penis off. <laughs> a donkey's doodle. <laughs> no, it's no, not. That's big. Yeah, that's right, sorry. A smidgen of a fly poo. That's yeah, what a smidgen like to of say. a fly poo. Um, yeah, so it's not that far off. So yeah, we can just plate and then plate and then bush and then bolt it done. What about plates? We is it lunchtime? Plate. Yeah, you're hungry. <laughs> you're looking hungry, mate. You're fading away to a shadow. I'm always hungry. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, we are going to duck off and get our um, gearbox mounts because we want to get that them done. Oh, geez, I'm looking pretty good today. <laughs> Can I just say? <laughs> Damn! <Is> you blind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, you're looking good. You're sending, you're sending me grey, right? Your greys are on point today. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, yeah, so um, <laughs> we'll go get some in, um, gearbox mounts. Throw them in, that'll strain it all up, and we'll start tacking some mounts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right, so we're back from our trip to, uh, where'd we end up, Burson's? Burson. Yeah, so we rung Repco, they were crazy dear. Um, Burson's was 66 bucks, and we got, each. that's each, yeah. So the part that goes um, like that on the gearbox, isn't it? Yeah, bolts through the, yep, and if you want the part number, that is it there but uh yeah that's all we needed to get that gearbox um yeah straightened up because our motor's on a lean because that other side of the um one of ours is missing this section so it's split in half and yeah yeah hmm. right she's in yeah boy all right all we need to do now, measure our distances, get it straight, because now the mounts are in on the gearbox, so it's all nice and square. And then we, we'll just measure, get it, yeah, all our measurements, put those, um, weld those mounts in, and it'll be sweet, and we can take the, this engine crane away. Yes! Let's do it up here. <laughs> All right. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Now we have lined up. Hello, Lukey. Hey. He's just having a nap in there. 
Yeah. <laughs> we lined up the engine mounts to the side of the chassis. We took our measurements yep. for yep, 107 mil. Yep. Measured out from the chassis to the um, engine mount holes, which are, uh, hopefully you can see it there. So we measured them out. They're 107.5 mil either side out to get to um, the mounts on the chassis to the center of the bolts. Mm. So we can down you know, cut some, do some engine mounts, cut them out, weld them up. So hopefully, gotta pull the engine out again. Yeah, gotta pull the engine out again because well, it's pretty good. We only done it what seven times now. Yeah, it was good. It's good. Too, too successfully. And the rest were finding issues, so. <laughs> but now we found all the issues, it, yeah, we're, we're laughing. Yeah. All right. So we'll see you when we see you. Bye. All right, guys. Is that time lapse or is that video? Oh, video. We're good. All right. So took the engine out. I forgot to put it on time lapse, taking it out. But you've already seen it like sixteen <laughs> times, so I'm it doesn't working, really matter. I'm working with an idiot. <laughs> Sarah's on smoke, though. Yeah. Huh. Sure. Yeah, so now we know where our engine mount's got to go, we can start making them. That That's exciting. It's brand new, that shaft now. Yeah, it's good. Cool. Yeah, it worked good. Yeah, we're going to do these engine mounts. Cool. Bye. What's that engine, baby? Did you just hit the thing? No, you didn't. You're right. There you go. Some half decent welds there. I wouldn't call them good. No, oh, they're, neither. they're actually not too bad, eh? Enough to hold an engine in, hopefully. Yeah. There's one here too, there's one. Jeez, oh, I burnt my absolute crap out of my foot though. Oh, horrible good one. Oh, that bloody hurt. It was welding and a, and a bit of uh, the spark or whatever. Spark, Slag. yeah. Slag. Slag. Don't call me that. <laughs> bit of the sparky slag fell off into his shoe. Oh, just got stuck. And you know, he's just like kicking it, trying to get your shoe off. And I had my legs down in the bloody um, steering arm, so I couldn't just rip my leg out. Yeah. G'day guys, we're back. It's the following day. Um, we left just with um, welding up those engine mounts last night. Um, yeah, they come up well. We a um, little bit of tweaking with the um, uh, hammer this morning just to straighten them out. Um, and they, yeah, they're pretty good. We're pretty happy with them. So um, I'll quickly show you them. But I also um, made up, we're doing gussets this morning to brace these engine mounts. Um, we did take a little bit too much off the side here um so these are a bit narrower than we expected or we planned on them being so our gussets sitting on the outside here are actually going to rub them out so what we've done is give me one second i'll find it here so we've made up this little fella um which is just our template obviously um and it's just going to sit like so um, we're gonna yeah use this to cut out our steel but that's pretty much obviously these corners i'm gonna cl clean up once they're on that sort of thing 
But um, yeah, we're going to use that as our template to cut out um, our gusset. That's what you did, mate. Okay, you cut corners. <laughs> Literally. It's a good job to yeah. lay them corners. Oh, I mean. Show them. Show them my corners. Look at these, mate. I'm like three hours in the back shed <laughs> to get yourself some engine mount done, eh? Yeah. Oh, mate, just those worlds. Get in there. Show them how oh, you, you stretch. Oh, that's all I've got, mate. Don't look at that one. Oh, that's pretty good, man. Yeah, yeah. Still a little bit of cleanup needed, but uh, just get rid of some of that splatter. But yeah, that's that's our engine mount's done. We're gonna throw our motor back in and pray it, pray it fits now. <laughs> <laughs> Half our luck is making something and then cutting it out to make it look real ugly just to fit it. But yeah, hopefully the motor will just go straight in, sit down, nice and easy. And, um, and then that will be the end of our episode 11. 11 team. Yeah, okay. episode 11. Making engine mounts. So. And fitting engine. And, yeah. And for the, what, 17th time? Yeah, let's get this thing in there. Yep, sweet. Let's do it. Good. Oh, zero percent. Say goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>